Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy, and in this tutorial we're going to talk about using the new Beautybox 4.0 in Avid Media Composer. 4.0 adds better support for GPU cards, and while it won't be quite real-time in Avid, it does speed it up quite a bit. So let's talk about the basics of using Beautybox and dive right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to my effects palette and select Digital Anarchy. And you can see we have Beauty Box here and our other plugin, Flickr Free. And we're going to drag that onto our clip here. And that's going to show up Beauty Box in the effect editor. And so the first thing that we want to do is click on Analyze Frame. This looks like a checkbox, but it's actually a button. And what this is going to do is analyze the footage, figure out what the skin tones are, and build an automatic mask. And we can see what that mask looks like by clicking on Show Mask. And you can see it's done a pretty good job right off the bat. There's not really a whole lot else we need to do. Uh, what you're seeing here are actually the shadow areas. And since we don't have a lot of detail in these areas, we don't really want to include them as it'll start picking up the shadow areas of the rest of the image. So that we don't really need to worry about. We might want to improve the mask a little bit on our chin, and to do that, we can grab our Mode Add Color tool, and then just click on her chin. So that's going to include more of her face and the mask, but it also lightens up some of these other areas. And so what we can do to tweak the mask, if we want to, is go back over to our Effects Editor, set the saturation range down to, say, around 10. This is going to make this mask a little bit higher contrast and give us a better mass to work with. So usually Analyze Frame pulls a very good key, but obviously you can make some tweaks to it if need be. And so the first way to do that is to know about the Mode Add Color. And if you want to create the mask entirely from scratch, you can use Set Color and then Add Color. But usually Analyze Frame will give you a good result, and so it's really just about tweaking it a little bit, either with Add Color or the Hue, Saturation, and Value ranges down here to improve the contrast of the mask. Once we have a good mask, it's going to track the skin tones throughout the entire video clip. So as long as your lighting doesn't change, your skin tones aren't going to change, and no matter where you move on the timeline, whether she moves off camera, whether she turns her head, no matter what she does, it's going to track those skin tones. So that looks good. And we'll turn that off. And now it's a matter of dialing in how much smoothing you want. We can set smoothing amount all the way down to zero to see what the original footage looks like. And she's got some skin damage up on her forehead, on her cheeks here. And so we can start dialing this in to figure out exactly the amount of smoothing we want. We can increase skin detail smoothing up or down to even further dial it in. And if you really want to scare your clients, you can set skin detail smoothing all the way down negative and make them look worse. But we don't usually advise that, so keeping this to a positive value will uh, make your clients look better, which is what we're going for. So it's really just about dialing in the smoothing amount, skin detail smoothing, and then contrast enhance helps offset any contrast you might lose from the image. Usually I set this up to around 50, 75. But this is the critical three parameters. You really want to use this to dial in the look that you're going for once you've got your mask set up. So the first step, set the mask up. Second step, come up here to our three smoothing controls. Dial in the look that you want and then usually you're pretty much good to go. Uh, there are some other controls in here, of course. Uh, sharpen, uh, color correction. Now usually we don't recommend doing the color correction in Beauty Box itself. Uh, there are far better tools for doing color correction. One of the nice things about the color correction here is that you can use the mask. So it'll only affect just the areas that the mask is showing. So it's just going to affect the skin tones. So if we drop saturation down to nothing, you'll see that for the most part, it's just using the mask and dialing down the skin tones, but we don't actually want to do that. But if you're doing some very simple color correction, the color correction tools that are built in can be very useful just because of this use mask parameter. 
Now there's shine removal. If you have bright spots due to bright lights showing up on oily skin, uh, shine removal can help you reduce those. It's a very useful tool if you've got that problem. Use GPU is a very good troubleshooting tool. By default, Beautybox is going to use the GPU. That's the way we speed up Beautybox. But the GPU is usually the first thing to cause problems if you're going to have a problem. So if you do have an issue, the first thing to do is turn off Use GPU to see if that is in fact the issue. And if it is, make sure your drivers are up to date for the video card. That's very important. If you're using an NVIDIA card, make sure you have the latest version of CUDA. And of course, you can always email us to uh, get additional help. Now the last thing I'm going to touch on are the presets. This gives you some very cool color effects that you can apply to the video. Just gives you a bunch of different looks, some of which you may be interested in, some of which you may not be. But it gives you a bunch of different styles and looks that you can play around with and apply to the video. And in this case, we're just going to set it to none. But it can be a quick and easy way of kind of sprucing up the video a little bit if you're looking to get some sort of interesting color effect happening. So that's pretty much the long and short of Beauty Box. Again, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good mask. Dial that in by selecting Analyze Frame and then tweaking it a little bit with Add Color or the Hue Saturation Value Ranges. Once you have that mask, just dial in the skin smoothing settings and you're pretty much good to go. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for checking out Beauty Box for Avid. And you can head over to digitalanarchy.com for free tutorials, free trial plugins. We have some other cool free stuff there and lots of resources for Beautybox and our other plugins. So check out digitalanarchy.com, and thanks again for joining me, and see you in the next tutorial.